Welcome to our first video on NumPy lecture series. This is gonna be an introductory video. So let's get started. So what is NumPy? NumPy is a library for the Python programming language. It stands for Numerical Python. It was created by Travis Oliphan in 2005. It supports large multidimensional arrays and mathematical functions to operate on these arrays. Now, the million dollar question is, why use NumPy when we are able to process arrays with the help of Python lists? This is because Python lists do serve the purpose of arrays, but they are too slow to process. NumPy aims to provide an array object that is more faster than traditional Python lists. Arrays are very frequently used in data science, where speed and resources are very important. If we have a slow array, then it will affect the speed of the program and also increase the time in which the program is executed. Some of you must be wondering, what is data science? Data science is the branch of computer science that deals with storing, using, and in analyzing data and deriving information from it. Now, let's move on to our next question. Why are NumPy arrays faster than lists? Let us look at the basic definition of an array. An array is a collection of homogeneous data types that are stored in contiguous memory locations. This is the definition that we are learning since kindergarten. So we all know that arrays are implemented with the help of lists in Python. Now, a Python list is a collection of data types stored in non-contiguous locations. So fetching elements from non-contiguous locations takes more time. This is the reason why Python lists are slower and NumPy arrays are about 50 times faster than Python lists. Let's look at the other benefits of NumPy. It supports efficient manipulations and operations on high-level mathematical functions and multidimensional arrays. It contains functions related to linear algebra, random number capabilities. See, random number is very important in NumPy for creating random distribution plots. We will get into it later on. It also supports functions related to Fourier transforms or transformations. It provides tools for integrating C and C++ code etc. in Python. And NumPy is used mostly for scientific computing. Now, let's move forward to the actual coding part. First of all, let me teach you how to install NumPy on your system. Here I'm using a MacBook and I have my pip installer package already installed. So I'm just going to write pip install NumPy and hit enter button. So I have NumPy already installed on, on my system, so it's showing requirement already satisfied. But in your system, it will process for some time and download the essential modules. Now, let me just get started with Python. On 3 and hit enter button. Now, I need to import NumPy. So for that, I'm going to write import numpy as np and hit enter. Now we don't get an output here. This is because there is nothing to display or there's no such command. Now I'm going to create an array, ARR equal to np 
dot array and I'm going to pass a Python list that is one two three four five so I have passed the list you can give any values that doesn't matter now I've successfully created an array now I want to print this array for that I need to write print bracket arr and hit enter so we have successfully created and displayed an array now some of you must be wondering why did we import numpy or numpy snp now let's see if we import it directly without giving it a nickname or a pseudonym so i'll just go back to python 3 type python 3 and hit enter and now i'll import numpy by writing import numpy hitting enter and then creating an array again that is a r r or array name equals to numpy dot array and passing a python list to it so now i'm gonna print this array by writing print bracket arr and hit enter now you can do this way or or you can do it the other way it doesn't matter but in large program you may need a pseudonym or a nickname or a reference so that uh, while writing large fragments of code you can reduce 